As our story opens today, George is preparing to swing through the jungle, while at point-blank range, a hunter is ready to shoot him. Remember, no, not too fast. Okay. Uh, ready, aim. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we better begin a little earlier. Fine with George. It really all started here in Syncopated Manor, home of the eccentric Duke of Ellington, world-renowned big game hunter. That does it, dear. With this Tasmanian aardvark, I now have a trophy head of every known animal in the world. Then why so sad, Piggy? What do I do for an encore? Oh, cheer up, dear. Here's one specimen you don't have. An ape man. But that is George of the jungle. Exactly. I think there's room for him over the fireplace. For his head, anyway. Oh, Cynthia, you are clever. So within a fortnight, whatever that is, the headhunters were within a stone's throw of George's treetop retreat. <coughs> oh, somebody within stone's throw again. Yes, maybe friendly natives. Hmm, I don't think they're natives. Not very friendly, too. You missed him, Piggy. Yes, I must find some way to lure him within gunshot. Why not take something he values highly and use it as bait? Exactly. Uh, but what? I don't know. Why not take it all? And so the next day... There. That's the lot. One of these awful-looking things must be what he treasures most. George, someone has ransacked the place. Everything's gone. Hey, you know, it looked more roomy this way. But they've taken Ursula, your beloved mate. In jungle, broken heart healed quickly. They've even taken your autographed picture of Lawrence Welk. My hero. They really know how to hurt a guy. George, get mad. <coughs> Steady, George. George, take jungle vengeance. Aided by his jungle cunning, George found the culprits in a remarkably short time. Ah, oh, there you are. Evil Hunter, give back Lawrence. Also, uh, him. Now's your chance, Piggy. Pull the triggy. Heart, a sitting bird. Can't be done, Cynthia. I tell you what, old boy. You let me take three shots at you. On the wing, as it were. And you can have everything back again. What keep George from taking it now? One false step, and I blow it to Flinders. No, no, you got deal. Don't, George. That's the Duke of Ellington. He wants your head for his trophy room. My head? Stuff and nonsense. Nonsense, no. Stuffed, yes. George, this is madness. True. Would make exciting plot for story, though. Who'd believe it? Ready? Ready. And this is where we came in. <laughs> The Duke took dead aim, but at the last instant, fortunately, George had run into a thorn bush and was safe. Some kind of safe. The shot, however, shattered a tree branch which fell on the Duke. That one. This time, George, I want you to run past as quickly as you can. He looks pretty fast, Piggy. Nobody's faster than a slug from a 50 caliber elephant gun, Cynthia. All right, George. Go. And the fleet-footed ape man dashed through the tall grass as the itchy-fingered Duke drew a bead on him. Then as he emerged from a clump of wait-a-bit bush... He outran a 50 caliber slug. That's impossible! Nothing impossible when you're chased by angry rhinoceros. Rhinoceros? What rhinoceros? That rhinoceros. That too. But there was still one shot to go, and the desperate Duke was not above cheating just a smidge. Exactly. Cynthia, hand me my bazooka. An anti-tank rocket? Oh, Piggy, do you think you should? I'll try not to damage the head. Oh, I'm so relieved. For his last shot, the Duke poised George at the top of Blind Man's Bluff. Now you dive a thousand feet into the roaring cataract. What cataract? This dry season. Then I suggest you perspire a great deal on the way down. No, George, you'll be killed. Maybe George get lucky. How? Maybe he shoot me before I hit bottom. You see, dear, I can't lose. And the jungle lord stepped forward to begin his fatal dive. But the rocks that held the board were loose and... 
The explosive shell missed George and struck the bottom of the gourd, releasing an underground geyser of hot water. The geyser met George halfway. Again, the ape man was safe. In boiling water? Some kind of safe. <laughs> a geyser. Now, how often would a thing like that happen? Oh, it happens here every time a writer gets stuck for an ending. That three. Now, George, take back precious possessions. <laughs> Better take care of that coal, fella. Can't understand the word you say. Then you must return empty-handed, Your Grace. Exactly. I think I have an idea. How about... Capital idea. Wizard, I'll do it. And so a short time later, back in syncopated manner... There's my last trophy, dear. A perfect duplicate of George's head. But, Piggy, that's just an odd-shaped lump of solid marble. Exactly.